हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल यूनिवर्सल टेलीग्राम वन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द ह्यूमन आई व्हिच इज स्पेशलाइज्ड सेंस ऑर्गन ऑफ आवर बॉडी इफ यू लाइक इट देन प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर स्प्रेड द नॉलेज विजिबल लाइट इज इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन दैट हैज अ वेव लेंथ विद इन अ रेंज ऑफ अबाउट थ्री एटी टू एट हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर लाइट ऑफ थ्री एटी नैनोमीटर इन वेव लेंथ इज सीन एज वायलेट वाइल लाइट ऑफ एट हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर इन वेव लेंथ इज सीन एज अ रेड लाइट इज परस्यूड बाई द आईज द इम्पल्स इज कॉज्ड बाय लाइट इन द आईज आर ट्रांसमिटेड टू द ब्रेन बाय द ऑप्टिक नर्वस ऑल्सो कोल्ड क्रेनियल नर्व टू The optic nerves are partially crossed in the optic chiasma therefore impulses from the inner sides of each retina cross over to the opposite side of the brain impulses from the external side on the other hand stay on the same side after entering the brain optic nerve fiber run to the visual cortex found in the occipital lobe via the optic tract the sense of light is found in the cerebral cortex the amount of light entering the eyes is regulated by the pupillary light reflex in strong light the pupil is contracted by the smooth muscles of the iris while in low light it is dilated the pupillary light reflex is an uncondensed reflex its center is located in the brain stem abnormal operation of the pupillary reflex therefore is an indication of injury to the brain stem the eyeballs are moved by the extraocular muscles these are straighted muscles under voluntary control the vitreous chamber forms the main mass of the eye the cross section of the eye shows three main layers the outermost is the sclera a very durable layer of connective tissue which continues in the transparent cornea this is where light entering the eye is reflected by the greatest angle the second layer is the choroid which contains blood vessels that supply the eye its continuation at the front of the eye is the ciliary body and the iris The smooth muscles of the iris are responsible for the pupillary light reflex. The iris contains pigments which lend human eyes their color. The muscles of the ciliary body ensure the accommodation of the eye lens to the distance of the object viewed by changing its curvature. The lens is connected to the ciliary body through the ciliary zonules. The ciliary body is also responsible for producing the aqueous humor, the liquid that fills the anterior chamber. If the drainage of the aqueous humor is insufficient, the pressure increases in the eye. which causes glaucoma in serious cases it may lead to blindness the innermost layer is the retina this is where an inverted miniature image is formed of the object viewed this is created by the lens its receptor are called rod cells and con cells the area of the retina responsible for visual acuity is called the macula lutea in its center there are only con cells while around the edge there are more rod cells the blind spot is the place where the optic nerve passes through the retina there are no receptor cells here the impulses produced by the receptors in the retina are transmitted to the brain by the nerve fibers in the optic nerve the receptors in the retina are called rod cells and con cells they transmit impulses to the bipolar cells which stimulate ganglion cell the axon of the ganglion cell form the optic nerve The light sensitive pigment in rod cell is rhodopsin which consists of a protein called opsin and a vitamin A derivative called retinal rhodopsin is sensitive to light of any wavelength therefore rod cells cannot differentiate between colors The stimulation their salt of rod cell is low a single photon is enough to stimulate them thus they work in weak light The three types of con cells are sensitive to red, green
green or blue light. Their photosensitive pigment is iodopsin which is similar to rhodopsin but contains a different protein. The stimulation result of corn cell is higher than that of road cells. They are not active in low light. This is why we lost color vision at dusk. We can see dim stars better using our peripheral vision because this way their images are not formed on the macula but on areas richer in sensitive road cells. Color blindness means that a type of corn cell is missing or does not work properly. The most common type of color blindness is red green dichromacy be difficulty in distinguishing between red and green colors when all three types of cons are involved total color blindness or monochromacy occurs in darkness cons and roads continuously release a neurotransmitter called glutamate which blocks bipolar cells. Light causes the receptor cells to hyperpolarize that is to produce an electric impulse. This stops the release of glutamate. Therefore, bipolar cells are unblocked and they produce action potentials.